November financials went out towards the end of last week, I believe, maybe even Friday. Um, it's the 11th month of the year. The target is 91.67%. When you review the attached revenue report, you can see the differences in revenue from 17 to 18. In 18, revenue is less than 17 by $81,937. That has dropped a lot. The gap has closed a lot on that, though. That was mostly related to the um, additional highway subsidy money that came in in 17. The month's total income was $626,317. Of that total, motor vehicles came in at $307,528. Interest on taxes at $4,955. Payment in lieu of taxes at $120,000. Building permits at $23,744. Miscellaneous st state grants and reimbursements at $7,183. Departmental income at $46,440. The by sewer agreement at $20,445. Interest on deposits at $15,941. Other revenues at $5,211. And the real estate trust at $73,027. On the expense side of things, you will find that we are 90.83% spent or under budget by $207,293 or 0.84%. In November of, of 2017, we were under budget by $637,546 or 2.58%. General government is under target by $271,650. Police is over target by $4,478. Fire is under target by $72,506 when you remove the open purchase order that's related to the AFG grant. Building and code is under target by $23,150. Emergency management is over budget by $855. Hydrants are over budget by $22,307. Street lighting is under target by 10,114. Public works is over target by $59,719. Animal control is under target by 3,917. Mosquito control is under budget and should end the year under budget. Welfare is under target by $8,983. Recreation is under target by $9,422. Library is under target by $16,724, and conservation is under target by $1,063. Fund 24, the recreation has a balance of $190,198, which includes beach sticker donations of $21,046 and $13,828 being awarded in scholarships this year. Fund 25, the Cable Committee has a balance of $376,055. Fund 26, the Private Detail has a balance of $211,461. And I would just note there that there is open purchase orders in that, re in that uh, fund for $78,779 for cruisers. So that brings down that balance. Fund 27, the EMS has a balance of 289890 and the wastewater system development charge, the fees collected in 2018, total 47584 with a balance in the account of $231,184 and fees collected to date of $427,011. And that is that. Questions from for Christina? No, we're just one more month to go. And I know. Yeah. Good job. Thank you, Christy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have questions. Um, one thing I had last time about, I know that it's going to be a concern of the Budget Committee as a lot of, there's going to be a lot of concerns, but one of the concerns is the parking enforcement because we tested something new this year, which I still think is a good idea. But looking at these financials, I think there's probably some work we have to do for next year, yeah. and I'm sure that yeah. management is already aware of this, but I just don't know if there's anything that maybe we can put forward before the budget gets finalized just to uh, show the town that we are planning on. I mean, it was the first year of doing something. 
it's Correct. not going to work as smoothly as we think it's going to work no matter what you do but I know that the people we have and we did employ are for the most part longtime employees of Hampton and they are doing this and I think it worked very well down there I know the parking lot seemed a lot busier there was cruisers going in and out which was very nice to have and it also helps with the traffic flow on the busy nights having the cruisers already down there but I just wanted to bring that up again in hopes that maybe we can just be prepared so if questions do get asked about it I know the budget committee hasn't voted on anything yet but when the time comes that they do vote I don't want that to just get completely stamped down because there's just nothing that they can look at to show that we are working on you know maybe working out some of the kinks okay and, and on that one um, a lot, some of the money was just moved from the police budget so would you like maybe something that shows yeah you like that? you might be able okay. you might already have the information it just yep. might be have to be presented a certain way okay to show them that because looking at this you can't really tell Correct. and I was figured I'd wait for another month and see what happened and it still doesn't look quite right so okay but yeah you sh you can probably you might be able to do something on your own and then the other increase in the police department that I want to bring up that is actually 105% used as of November is the uh, support services, which I noted last time is uh, heavily spent in the months of July, August, and September. Right. So, because in support services, uh, some of the big items there are the part time special officers. Yeah. So they are not using too many of those at this time of year, just for more for like details and stuff. So, that's 230,000 of that, what is the total there, 836,000. Right. And then the other large item there is the summer coverage, the full-timers that do summer coverage, and that total is 220,589. So you have about 450,000 more, almost pretty much more than half of that whole actual is all related to the summer. Right, which is what we need to make sure that we keep it safe down yep. there, which is what our police department just got an award for. So thank you. I just wanted to point that out. Thanks. And Jim? Yeah, thank you, Christy. Yeah. And I want to you know, compliment you and the town manager and the assistant town manager because last, last month you found that there was a problem. You, you attacked the problem pretty, pretty quickly and pretty uh, aggressively and took care of it, and we're in much better shape right now because of that. And it's because of your monthly reports and staying right on top of what we're doing. It's, it's really good. So I want, I want to compliment you on that, and I want to compliment you on... Uh, you do a good job on another committee. Thank you. <laughs> she doesn't want us going I can, straight and narrow. I can say, uh, I can say yes. This was an excellent job this month. You had a lot of work to do. Yes. Probably a lot of sleepless nights. And, yep. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you, you have done a great job over the year and over your tenure here uh, of working with it. But people need to remember too, as as we get closer and closer, we're still working on 2017's money. Right. You know, this is a, a default budget, and yeah. that's the problem when you have default budgets, is you're working on what you had from the year before. And it's so important to look at the budget, make up your own mind, and make sure that you give our departments the, the funding and facilities they need to do that. So, uh, but I want to thank you for, for all the work you do. You're welcome. Okay.